Today I'm going to go over the startup on a 4640 uh, John Deere display for a 1775 Max Emerge 5E planter with uh, the exact rate flow uh, system and a uh, Sentinel metering system with a Green Star 2000 rate controller, I believe. Okay, so to start, uh, I made a startup page with everything I need to start the field. I already started this one, but um, you should, I recommend having one similar to this, so that way you know you did everything uh, correctly. Um, also, if you don't have a uh, extended screen for this John Deere monitor, I would rec recommend that, especially if you're putting on a, uh, two applications, um, especially if they're variable rate, so you can keep track of everything. Um, to start off, we have the the EPG that we'll be turning on. Um, but before I get into that, I guess your client field and farm, you'll want to put this on your, on your startup page so you can change that when you move fields. You'll want your frame control on there so when you pull up to the field you can fold and unfold your planner um, on this screen whenever we fill the tanks our rear tank you can fill here by touching on the screen and fill it the other tank you can touch on the screen as well and fill it up here we'll go back to my start page to start, we will turn on our PTO to run power, and then we can click that EPG on. Next, we're going to click on the pump for the exact emerge, or sorry, the exact rate pump. We'll turn that on, and then next we'll turn on the vacuums. We have those on SCVs three and four. We'll click those into the on position on three and four. Immediately after that, we will go to our vacuum, click on the pies, and you'll want to fill those right away so they can get up to what your target is. Sometimes it takes two or three but button pushes for the fill before these drop back down to the target. Those are good to go. Now those are on. Um, you're in plant mode. I have this page set up so I can monitor uh, my field and then uh, my exact rate tank and fertilizer and it'll show which rows are on and uh, these will turn green and have blue check marks if they're meeting your requirements. Um, if you are running variable rate you can set up your variable rate by going to menu, applications, scroll down to work setup, and then here's your tab. Uh, you can plug in your, uh, you can have a straight rate, your variety. We'll click on this rate and you can click a prescription and fill out which prescription you want. I don't have a prescription for soybeans, we're running a straight rate, so we'll leave it at that. Accomplish, we're running for our starter fertilizer in row. And you can see I have my prescription set up in here already. Same thing with the black label pull behind tank on our two x two. Prescription's already set up. Click okay, those are good to go. If you wanna verify that those are the right ones, I like to click on, on a, find, a, find a page with a map like this one, you can click on your soybeans or your label up here. So soybeans doesn't have, it's running at a straight rate so your background is gray. You click on it and go to that starter fertilizer, it'll show my variable rate map in the, in the background. And click it again, click it again, and it'll go to black label, which is the 2x2. Two two. You can see that it is, shows my variable rate map for that as well. 
After that, we're gonna switch to this Sentinel system. Um, for the Sentinel, you wanna make sure this is in the green um, on position, and then this is in auto. To click for these to be on, you're gonna turn your master on. We have a master switch push button on the ground here. Click that, and that'll turn this to on and it'll show your bar graphs running. So, now that I'm good to start planting, I will start up and show you guys what it looks like around position. Okay, now we're planting. Your sentinel will look like this. Everything's good. Just like your John Deere screen, your line in the middle is good. Anything above, is too high, anything below is too low. On here, you can see on the exact emerge or exact rate, flow meter, these are the green means your rows, these are your section control rows. Blue means these rows are hitting their target. If they're red, it'd be too high. Um, you can check your gallons or your, you can change your gallons by pushing on the prescription. We have the prescription set up, but you can set um, your different rates steady here if you'd like. On population, uh, down here I set a target rate, 105. You can change your target rates in that. Or you can change it in here, I believe. Up, if you click on your population, it'll bring up the old screen on like the 2630s with your individual row population output and your green down here is your section control again. You can go back to your hydraulic down pressure and it'll show a similar map. And again, with your singulation and your seat spacing, will come up when you're planting corn uh, soybeans is too high of population for readings, so your singulation and seed spacing will show blanks. If you'd like your layout to look similar to one of these, or make your own, if you don't know how to get there, menu, button lower right, applications, scroll down until you hit uh, layout manager, And then you have your default run pages. I have four set up. I'll click on that, edit that, and then here's my run pages that are on my home screen. You can click on one and edit it, or duplicate it and edit that one, or erase it. Whenever you, if you wanted to edit one and add something, I could edit this startup page and come up. And I don't, I don't have any room, but I could add a module, and I could add any one of these options through here, just like on the 2630, except for they're a lot more maneuverable. This video is mostly for me, so I can reference back to it next year after I forget everything, but I hope it helped you guys.